Uh, YouTube, this is Patrick. One half of Fuzzy Motion. My counterpart, uh, Rob, is not here with me this week. Um, he's out in PA. He's going to make it down here for as many of these as possible. Um, but until then, you're kind of like stuck with me, so I apologize for that. Uh, he might put, put up one of his own, uh, but doesn't have HBO, so that might make it a little difficult or might take some time. Um, but anyway, uh, as far as rev review for uh, episode two, I actually was really, really impressed. Um, I expected to find episodes this season entertaining, but I didn't really expect to be impressed by any. And um, I thought this one actually handled what is my biggest problem of the show, which is all these characters. This one felt very much like they knew which characters on the show are the A characters, what are the B characters, and the C characters. Like, yeah, like we got, you know, when we saw Andy the first time tonight, yeah, I rolled my eyes and I was like, oh god. But he was kind of a part of Jason's storyline, so he felt like a little, you know, side th a side character, which is what he's supposed to be in the first fucking place. Um, they did a little thing with his, like, you know, the, the V thing, uh, which was fine, I guess. But, um, yeah, and even, you know, even, like, Terry, when I, we cut to Terry, um, at least we're getting some of his, like, flashbacks to, like, Iraq and what happened to him, so at least we're finding out something with him. Um, and the storyline for his character, that there's someone else they're seeking out, it's like, alright, you know, this might be, uh, I hope it's interesting. Um, I find it at least more intriguing than the stupid ghost thing from last season. So, um, and, uh, Arlene making, like, a quick, smart decision to go talk to Patrick. Not me, the, uh, Scott Foley. Um, you know, it moved fast. At least it didn't take her, like, three episodes to go talk to him. Or something like that. So, um, so I was very happy with the storyline that those characters, or the time those characters got in this episode. Um... Uh, yeah, but on to everything else. Uh, also, Tara, um, Tara running around the house, smashing, smashing shit, was more fun. It was more fun watching her do that than I think watching anything she's done in like the past, you know, couple of seasons, pretty much. I don't like the Tara from season one. Was you know was rash and she was just um, you know she was just a lot of fun on top of being just pissed off all the time. Then she just became, you know, sad. I don't like sad Tara. You know, I don't like whiny sad Tara. So I'm hoping that this is going to be, you know, angry, pissed off Tara. Because she's fun. Um, and her and Pam going back and forth together, which I assume is eventually going to happen. Pam's going to come around to, uh, to Tara. So, yeah, again... I'm, I'm not happy that they didn't... Like I said, I'm not happy they didn't kill her off because they need to kill some people off in this show. Um, but at least they're going to give her something hopefully fun to do. At least it looks like it. And it was nice to see that Lafayette and Sookie actually, you know, talked about her situation this week instead of last week where they just quickly um, just kind of let it go, one, two, three. I know they had to act quickly, but still. Um, like the scene where he was gonna Lafayette was going to stake her and, um, and everything, you know, but, um, the, uh, also, it was fun watching them chase her around and everything like that, um, so, yeah, and they even have Lafayette, like, mention, you know, Jesus, and taught, like, his motivations were there, except he was still being Lafayette, still fun, uh, much like Tara, which is what I want from him if he's gonna be around, I don't want to see him, like, mope in a corner for the whole season, um, Let's see. Uh, who should I move on to? I guess with Pam, it's nice to see we're getting uh, flashbacks for um, for Pam uh, this season. I'm glad we didn't find out how she was made uh, right away. So that means they're gonna, you know, let that like stretch that out for a couple episodes, which I'm fine with because I like Pam. Um, and uh, let's see. Uh, yes, uh, even the the Sam. You know, storyline. It, it was it was kind of funny the the Sam scene with uh, him and uh, Luna, where um, you know they just started randomly yelling at each other. She kind of jumped on him really quick. She had just saved him like five minutes, you know, earlier episode wise, and now she was just arguing with him. Um, I mean, the guy Marcus did kill his brother, you know, 
so yeah and I just liked him just calling her like a psycho right away and just everything like that it was just such a quick weird kind of argument um but uh obviously it's gonna come back around now with the little girl is like a, a wolf very cute little wolf pup by the way um and the actress playing uh Marcus's mother is actually pretty good and um like dramatic, like dramatically, like held her own, like in the scene to make the scene actually interesting, just because she was that good in the scene. So, uh, so yeah, so I, I'm actually looking forward to seeing actually more of her and seeing her interact with everyone else. So yeah, um, Alice see it. I really got nothing to say for him this episode. You know, he was being all you know self right, not self righteous, but he was just being you know trying to be the good guy and everything. Uh, I do know that they cast Robert Patrick, who's T1, uh, the T-1000 from Terminator 2, as his father. He'll be playing his dad, I think, I don't know when, um, at some point this season. But, um, uh, so I guess we're going to get Alice C flashbacks as well. They, I guess they're going to do a lot of flashbacks for a lot of characters this season, which is actually okay. Um, so yeah. Let's see, before I move on to Bill and Eric, which I'll get to last... Who else? Oh, all right, Jessica and Newland. Not really, you know, that interested with them fighting over Jason. Um, yeah, you know, it, it's fun. It's amusing. Um, again, it didn't feel. It feels like a B storyline. I hope they don't give it too much time. And I love Jessica, but um, I'll hold off on criticism on that just to see where it goes. Um, Hopefully she won't be throwing any more frat parties when I saw her doing that again. Although her holding a keg was funny. But, um... Still. Um, hopefully she doesn't do more of that. Um, again, even Hoyt in this episode. Hoyt felt like a side character, where last season he felt like a main character. Um, so... And the whole scene with Jason keeps on trying to talk to him, talk to him. I guess eventually something's going to happen where that situation kind of comes to either changes where Hoyt really goes after him or Jason um, well we saw in the preview it looks like Hoyt tries to get into Fan uh, to, uh, Fantasia maybe to try to get turned or something like that I hope they don't really do that that's kind of that's too many characters getting turned we already got Tara getting turned it would undermine it if, if Hoyt gets turned too um, but we'll see with that uh, what else shit I know I'm going to be missing something before I get to Bill and Eric I think I'm missing something missing something. Alright, maybe not. Whatever. Alright, Bill and Eric. Everything with Bill and Eric at the Authority, I thought it was like, it was just, it was a lot of fun. The whole Authority having, they have like a Mac, um, but then all this like ancient scripture and everything like that. Their whole torture devices felt very Spanish Inquisition, except, you know, modern. Um, which I like to see. Um, not torture, but, you know. The, um, all the interrogation techniques, it was just, um, I don't know, yeah, it was just good stuff. And I like that Bill and Eric, are, like I said, are on the road, um, so, and away from Suki, which I think kind of, Suki kind of hurts their characters more than helps. Um, so yeah. And then the scene at the end of the episode with Chris Maloney as, I guess, the head of the authority. Also, I believe uh, that was Candyman sitting there. Um, the guy also from Final Destination. I think. If not, he looks just like him. If I'm completely wrong, somebody tell me. Uh, I should have looked it up before I went on here. I thought it was him. Um, but anyway, Chris Maloney, who I've I thought was awesome since uh, Oz. Um, it's nice. It's nice to see him back on HBO. Uh, he had a good couple of scenes. Commanded his scenes. He's going to be a formidable, like I guess, bad guy for the season. Uh, I look forward to seeing a lot more of him. I liked the way that Bill was able to get out of the situation um, by using Russell. Um, and, you know, even with them killing off no one on this show, when he held the stake to Bill's chest, I knew he wasn't going to do anything, but it was still suspenseful. So that's a plus. That's a major plus, especially for this show. Um, so, yeah, and we got the last little glimpse of uh, Russell, who's going to, again, take his time until getting back into it. Um... But yeah, there's a lot of interesting stuff already, I, I thought, after this episode. There's a lot of things I'm looking forward to see how they play out. Hopefully they don't fuck it up by next week. Um, that remains to be seen. 
but uh, yeah so I guess that's it um, let me know what you thought um, it was nice to have a lot of there's a lot of like you know good amount of comments on the uh, the episode last week which was nice to see uh, good and bad uh, they're all fun so um, so yeah let me know guys uh, until then I'll see you next week for the next one Rob might be here with me if not it'll be me again so alright adios